Alright. Uh, I guess the paper's from the desk. She has no idea. Yeah, I presume so. Get away from there. Okay. So Trilby isn't letting us near the desk. No. Point it to the privacy screen. Okay. Oh, I know what to do. Um, right. Oh. Maybe we can try talk to him. How about that? Oh, Samantha's playing along. Yeah, what's gonna happen here? Go for papers, go. Okay. I, I, I guess try and talk to the guard. No. Yeah, I think you need to talk to the guard to distract him. Yeah, could be that. Could be that. Uh, we'll try that again then. To be fair, like we apparently have a broken neck, what looks to be a broken ankle, and a broken shoulder, a collarbone. So we're at him. We're at him quickly. Oh, he has a slip of paper in his pocket. Oh, well then. Have a talk to him then. A little preoccupied right now, looking at us. Okay, we got a we got a sheet of paper anyway. That's good. Okay, yeah. So let's look at that then, if we can. A slip of paper with a meaningless sequence of numbers on it. Oh wow. Right. Okay, I have to find some way of uh, giving it to her. Um, I guess like turn save the paper. Yep. Mm -hmm. No, no, you click her, click her, and then click paper. Yeah, well, that's what I was trying to do. Yeah. There we go. Ah, there we are. Yeah. Okay, the interface is like you do the. It's like you do. You click the B, person. B first and then A. That's how it's working here. Bit, 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 sorry, bit. Funky, but we'll, we'll get used to it. And then... Console. Points at the privacy screen, then at the north door on the wall. So we know what to okay. do now. So, privacy screen. <laughs> privacy! Wow. Look at that. That's like Generation 1 force fields there, isn't it? Yep. Yeah. <laughs> Look, it's an attempt has been made. Next time, we're going to get the turbo lifts. Then we're going to get so the warp now engines. So, we're going to open up the secret door and a monster will come out. Yeah. Break the shit out of the guard. It's covered that. There he is, the I, tall I, I, man. I, I, <clears throat> oh. Oh, yeah, look at this. This is getting sexy up in here. Oh. Fuck oh, you, vampire oh, killing. Oh, oh, dear. <clears throat> What's going on? I can't look. You can't see. It's privacy. Oh, nasty. And he's gone. Outstanding. Wait, just a bit. It hurts, Paul. It hurts. It Don't hurts. you see? It hurts. It, it hurts in my... It, only my fleshy parts hurt. <sighs> and my bony parts. And everything else. Why? Why couldn't I be a cyborg? Why couldn't? Why was I programmed to feel pain? I'm only a... <laughs> I'm only a council inspector. Fuck, how big was that shaft? Right, we're going that. Secret underground labs! So the ophthalmologists... Yeah, I thought that. It's a front for the cult, presumably. Which would make sense why the cloak is... Why the guy was wearing like, a big red cloak. Because that's the... The cultists were wearing them as well. Mm. Order of Blessed Agonies. Yeah. That's <clears throat> Some mad death god. Not a question. Sorry, the tip. Oh, they were building something, eh? Yeah, do you know what? I'm glad, like, with and all they these megalomaniacs. have planning permission to build something. I was about to say, I'm glad that these megalomaniacs are being put back into check by actual good old, not good old fashioned public servants, you know? Civil servants that are just trying to do their best. And get tossed down elevator shafts for the troubles. The feeling you personally been waiting for, the other prisoner. So there's three people down here apparently. Herself and someone else. Asher, you know, you may as well have a doctor as a slave. Yeah. 
Well, they're useful, aren't they? Right, this is all very interesting. So the man has a mercenary. Mm -hmm. Janine is her name. <clears throat> okay. So Trill be found by the two of them. So the objective presumably is to get to the surface. Yep. All the while, presumably, cultists are getting thoroughly raped. By well, spookies. Well, either that or just Trilby. Okay. Right oh, now. he'll be fine. <laughs> I love that. Like, you're you're busy, therefore we get the broke this broken man to fucking, uh, to run around the place. Okay, so we're going to try and trap the cultist this time. We'll turn the tables, Paul. This is the this is the start of the fight back. Okay, I'm gonna take a save there. Papers. <laughs> on. There we go. <laughs> I think that's, that's fair, isn't it? I I I uh, dot dot dot. Give it a minute. Yeah. <laughs> Maybe. Yeah. It's like, like okay, his face and head got pretty thoroughly penetrated. Oh, here we are. The, but they did not stake his heart. No, they did not. Uh, we have a some text here, Paul. So Acolyte like Gary, that was the guy that was that pushes down the shaft. We have Acolyte like the Raven, or Derivan. Preparation to complete, feel free to evacuate yourself and your staff when you finish burning the records. But make sure Canning and the prisoners remain. So it's Canning we're trying to tra trap here. Also remain, make his own arrangements. I will evacuate last when I have given the building and final inspect. So Paul, what should we do first? Well you gave the other part of that note to your woman, so that's kind of a pain. Yeah, we don't need it now, in fairness. We might. Okay. Uh, so, let's take the door where the monster came from. Okay, fair. We actually have music for this uh, game, by the way. Proper music. Yeah, it's got a tune to it. Mmm. Boxes! We have, we have, oh, sweet, delicious boxes. Yeah. Yes! Give me that box. Oh, yeah. Oh. What about this box? Oh, they're all empty. Not okay. one painkiller in sight. We are just going to... Be in absolute fucking pain for the time being. Oh hey, so this was presumably the prisoner room. Well, no, it's storage because next to the medical. It has oh the, yeah, good the, point. The next to the medical side. Yeah, so that was a sick bay. What do we have here? Spectacles. Oh, that does necessary. Oh, I'm gonna try. Let's see if we can grab onto one first. <clears throat> there we go. Man, that's a bit. That was slightly pixel haunty. <clears throat> The other is curved out of shape. Okay, so we got a lens. That, yep. That's a that's a point and click adventure trademark. Mhm. Mm <laughs> so what's she doing? Man, she's so, oh. okay. So where can we go? So we have our storage room. We have what looks like security. A lab. Oh yeah, security definitely in there. All right, let's have a look. It's going to be locked, though. More than likely. Well, No, you, you were wrong, Paul. You were wrong. I, I was. We have a barrel. Okay. Oh, but a monitor. I think it's just showing... It's a security monitor, but it's, so, it's showing nothing but snow. Touchscreen. We're in the Ooh. future, Paul. Oh, locked out. So we need... Well, I see a control panel that's going to get busted open. Indeed. So we'll, we'll put a pin on this place for the time being. What else is up? Is here. Okay, security lock, that's that. Fuse box. Yeah, that, that's a good point, actually. You don't want to mess around with electronics, you know. If this was a Sierra game, if we touched that, we would have died. So, you know. Okay. Discretion, so better need, part of Valor and all so that. Do need, like, inside gloves then? Yeah, potentially. Not a bad show. And the lab is locked. So, that rules out this entire uh, east wing of the lab. Well, facility. Apparently lab. Apparently lab. Hmm. What's in through this door? Don't. Oh, okay, so the cultist is in here. Fair hmm. enough. Okay. Right oh, so Janet has guns. Janine has guns, apparently. God damn it, Janet. Uh, this looks like a brig of some kind. Handwritten notes. Let's have a look at it. 
Add it to my journal. Canning. You should measurements. Ooh. The holding cell for at least six days. Do not fail. And is your chance to redeem yourself for the crime of allowing the Orzechovsky woman? Orzechovsky? I think it's Orzechovsky. I think. Okay, so this cold that we're trying to use as a hostage has been clearly left out to dry. Yes. And once we actually have them as a hostage, the other cold is going to be fine just killing him. Yeah, pretty much. He's expendable. And it about checks out for a cold like this where, like, you know, hey, bonus points, basically. Casual murder. Casual murder, yeah, exactly. So, we know where to put the cultists now, which is a start. This looks like the the dorms. And that's locked. That's fucking super. And there's nothing here. So, the one room we haven't checked is the bloodstained one. Let's see what's in there. Let's Wait, see what's... Wait, bloodstained room in the medical hall? Yeah, the one in the medical room, yeah. Right. Let's see what's behind door number two, Paul. Well, presumably someone has bloodstained on. Yeah, let's do it. Oh. It was that one, apparently. Yes. What's in the cabinet? Full of medical supplies I've absolutely no idea how to use. You could try taking some. That's a controversial idea, isn't it? You know? Maybe? I Hello? mean... Anybody? I imagine carrying capacity is probably pretty useful with having a broken fucking neck. Broken neck, broken arm. Like, by all accounts, he should not be able to walk. There's no way he should be walking. It's like... Like, I know... Medi I'm, I'm sure medicine has moved on a good bit, but... Listen, let's, let's tell you about this. Like, if you've ever been in, in a in for surgery or something, yes, you find even walks that go like within ten or twelve meters, mm. you're feeling exhausted. Oh, absolutely. Good God, yeah. Like, like I, e e assuming you can even stand the fuck up. Like, I'm trying to picture what you like. This guy yeah, obviously check has all the boxes individually. Yeah, mate. Well, I think they only came up with shelves this time, so. What's Pixel, in the... No, Pixel Hunt for, for box icons. I will, I will, don't worry. Uh, console. What are you looking for? Your, like, blood and piss? <laughs> like, I, I, I wasn't, I was hoping there's like... This isn't the kind of game where you can just inject yourself with your own blood and you're suddenly healed. <sighs> but that always oh, works. Oh, has that power. That always works, Paul. What That's are you on Trilby's about? That's power because he's a vampire. God fucking damn it. You and your goddamn vampires. Am I wrong, though? You're not wrong. That's the problem. There we That's go. That's the fucking problem. Alright, though I can't get in here, I can't seem to do anything with this, I don't, the cell phone doesn't work. Um, kind hmm. of fit a brick, brick wall already, already, have we? Ah, there we go, there's a, a woman, we found a woman, breaking news, okay. we yeah, found a woman. They, they, they need to signpost where you can, can like, what is a corridor? Yeah, this is, is a... This is one of the things I found annoying playing these types of games, is that it's not adequately... Uh, Did you just loop around? Yeah, loops around, yeah. It's supposed to be like one like circular corridor. There we go, here she is. <laughs> yeah, I thought she was a cultist, you can tell from my red fucking gown. Decabe. Theo Decabe. Clearly not. <laughs> well, no, here's the thing. They seem like the kind of assholes that, you know, would be fine. Mm. Like, I don't imagine health and safety is a priority around here. Most certainly not. I would like I would hazard a guess and say a risk assessment wasn't done on this lab at any point. Listen. They, 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 Have they, you they, seen any fire equip safety equipment here? I haven't. Listen, they're, when, when someone came around asking for this, they put them out a fucking elevator whose doors opened when there wasn't an elevator. Yes. <laughs> it's like there is no safety They precaution. literally just had a shaft to push people down. It was just that it was just a highway to hell, quite literally. There's probably a separate button to actually call the elevator and set everyone that just opens the doors. Yeah, basically. Oh yeah, maybe they have like the real elevator and then the haha, just kidding elevator, <laughs> or like you know fresh meat delivery, something like that. Ah, so Janine has seen the uh, the tall man. Spooky boy. Spooky boy, indeed. Or is she talking about Truby? So Janine is a bit of a, not quite helpful. Well, hey, back in there, there was a, a cabinet. Yes, let's go in there. We do have guns now, which is good. I... Oh, she, she won't... Ah, we can't do anything. Bitch! So. Yeah, we have to... We have to continue the plot, Paul, I'm afraid. Like, I'll be honest. 
if she's that afraid, it's probably better she doesn't have the guns. Mm. But you probably now we have. And we certainly have the upper hand. Cultists is just through this door. Alright, no, easy. So far, so good, Paul. Everything's going absolutely fine. Dead, she was too afraid. Fair. So she's seen something, Arjunine. Yeah. 